Hello Pisces, I'm giving your May 2018 reading at least for the first two and a half weeks. As you know, this may not resonate with all Pisces people, okay? Um, it's been a heck of an April, so I'm hoping the energies will come back as normal. They're supposed to in astrology, but I'm, I'm, a lot of people are feeling that April and, and March, so last part of March, so... I need a reading for Pisces, May 2018, early May 2018, the first two weeks of May, Pisces. I need a reading for Pisces, May 2018. I need a reading for Pisces, May 2018. Let's get this done. Gotta get this done. Oh. Trying to get these out. I know I'm a little later than usual. Got desire. It's also known as a lust card. It can actually mean lust at times. But you got desire in your heart or desire surrounding you as the beginning energy. I'm going to do this a little different. And first was cross center. Seven of uh, Pentacles. Oops, I don't want to. I don't want to see these yet. I want to be surprised. Got to do with a, a earth element, though. I know, I'm a party pooper. But I'm trying to get this to where it's a little bit more exciting. And it helps my intuition. But you do got a desire situation. You got growth. And what's crossing is the Seven of Pentacles. So be careful of that growth, because with the Seven of Pentacles crossing, there's a chance of failure with this growth. And it also could mean a pregnancy. So let's see. I don't want to sit there and say that. Oftentimes it's not, though. Not all Pisces people are going to be pregnant. So it's all to do with growth. And what's crossing it is that you may there may be a failure type situation. I'm going to find out what it is. Why is, why is the Empress there with the Seven of Pentacles crossing? It's not a terrible card. I'll tell you in a minute. Why is the Empress card there with the Seven of Pentacles crossing it? Uh, over the King of Pentacles could have to do with the Earth element, and as you know, or zodiac sign of, of, of an Earth sign, and that is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Now it could be that you're you're feeling like this Knight of this King of Pentacles is maybe too much work. You may be trying to grow with this uh, King of Pentacles. Maybe you want things to go further, and you're feeling like you're failing the situation. With the Seven of Pentacles, the person has to work harder. They're, or they're contemplating, how am I going to do this? And it has to do with this King of Pentacles, which is in the upright. It's a good energy, and it doesn't have to be an earth sign. It could be just somebody who is um, stable. Sometimes they're, sometimes they're older. Um, sometimes they're financially stable. But your goal, well, I'm going to look for your goal. Your goal is also the Knight of Discs. It's also an earth element. It could be two different people, or it could be the same person. So they may not be that much older. Then we find out the goal is the Knight of Discs. Why are you there? Why are you the goal of Pisces? Maybe you want something to grow. You want something to grow with this stable earth element or this earth energy or earth sign. But your goal may be, someone may be a little manipulative because you got the Magician card there, Reverse. When the Magician card is in Reverse, it's someone who's kind of manipulating the situation. You may, you know, do something or say something, or they may do something or say something, but it's your goal. And you may be trying to manifest something with them, but not on the up and up, possibly. Maybe, I don't know. Because you got this uh, Nine of Pentacles here, and she's in reverse, and she's attached with this magician. So you may be asking them for some help when you don't need help just to get their attention. Not a bad thing. A lot of people do it just to get someone's attention, and maybe they're just not paying attention to them. The Knight of Discs is a real slow energy. So you may be trying to hurry this up along, trying to push it. Now, at the foundation, there may be someone else there. This is the Knight of Swords. I'm getting a lot of, you know, these, like, court cards, and there's a lot of people in these readings. When you get a lot of people in these readings, it's really hard to 
hard to read for because it's just showing like people all over the place. But as a foundation, there may be somebody else in the mix. And this could be an air sign. It could be a, what, an Aquarius, a Libra, a Gemini, and they're in reverse. So you may have somebody in your life that's just not happy uh, with you right now or happy with the situation. I don't, or maybe you're not happy with them and they're because kind of, they're turned around they're not happy and they're not a fun person to be around when they're in reverse let's find out why they're in your foundation as the current environment also as they say why is the knight of swords there for pisces it could be someone in the past relationship so you may be wanting to start something with something with somebody else but this person is still there they may be a past ended relationship, but they're still kind of there. You know, and they're not happy with you, and maybe you're going on to somebody else and they're just not happy. And and it was a past relationship that broke up because the hair font is in reverse and it has to do with uh family ties, marriages, um family tradition, contracts, and it's a reverse. So this contract is in reverse whatever you know agreement you have with this person it stopped and communication is off in the past the eight of wands now this could be why you're trying for this other person or maybe you know it's just a different type situation maybe for independence but you had this <coughs> excuse me eight of wands it's in reverse now the eight of wands is all about communication going back and forth. When it's in reverse, there's no communication in the past. Communication got cut off. Let's find out why. Why is the Eight of Wands in reverse in the past? Uh, looks like someone may have missed an offer, or maybe they didn't want this offer at all. Because you got the four of cups. When it's in the, in the upright, it says someone doesn't like what's offered to them. When it's in reverse and with another reverse card, they could have turned it down all the way. They didn't even accept an offer. They didn't even think about it. Let's find out what the future is. Now, in the near future, someone's going to stop blocking somebody. They're going to make a. Um, they're going to actually make a decision. They're actually not going to stop blocking. They're going to see things how they are. This could be you seeing things for how it is. Let's find out what you're going to be seeing. Unblocking from your, usually with the, um, could be this Knight of Wands. I'm getting too many people here, and I don't know if he's reversed or not. I'm going to put him in the upright for now. Could be that someone else will be coming in. Someone you may have blocked in the past. So in the near future, even though you may be having your goal towards this Knight of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and maybe on the outs with this Knight of Swords, and maybe communication didn't occur in the past, something else is coming in this Knight of Wands. And with the Two of Swords reversed, means someone's become unblocked. They're no longer blinded to a situation that could involve this Knight of Wands. Like I said, more court cards, what can I do? People, people everywhere. I need one more. Two of Swords reversed. Why are you there with the Knight of Wands? And please don't be another court card. moon this means something's going to come out maybe this knight of wands energy is going to tell you something that was blocked before and that's going to come up in the next two weeks because it's swords energy it's knight of wands it's a fast moving energy so this is definitely going to come up within the first couple weeks in may now as it as a uh, celtic cross goes towards the end with the final outcome that could take almost up to six months it doesn't matter if i'm reading from may it's just the way the Celtic cross, and I may change the way I read just because of that. Uh, but right here, this is going to, I'm thinking this is going to occur for a lot of Sagittarius, or not Sagittarius, Pisces people, I'm sorry. It's got Sagittarius on my mind. Maybe that Knight of Wands is a Sagittarius, or maybe I just screwed up. But we got something going here. You got something coming real quick. And your thoughts, feelings, possible future outcome. Can you see that? That's the Princess of Wands. That's a lot like the Knight of Wands. And that's another energy. And that could be your possible future outcome, the advice card, or in your thoughts. So that has a lot to do with this energy, I think. And as you know, a fire energy can be uh, 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it could be just, you know, maybe it, Sagittarius is coming. Maybe it is. Outside environment, someone may want to go out. It could have to do with a celebration you had. Wow. Let me find out what the Princess of Wands is first. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Princess of Wands, why are you in a possible future outcome? Advice? And in, in Pisces thoughts? Lover's card, reverse. So you may have, my goodness, how am I going to read this? You, may, you are going to have this Knight of Wands come up. Someone's going to become unblocked. Someone's going to come out with, maybe they're going to say, I always loved you, Pisces. And then you're dealing with the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Swords and the Princess of Wands as possible. You may not want any of it. You know, you may be just wanting, I'm seeing your goal is the Knight of, of Pentacles. So you may not be wanting to deal with the Wands energy, the Fire energy. Now, I said, as I said here, you got the Three of Cups coming in. It's, a, it's an outside environment. It could be also outside people. You got a lot of people in, the, in, the, in this spread. So this could be like a celebration. Maybe it had to do with everybody went out. Maybe you saw an ex when you went out. Maybe you ran into somebody when you were celebrating dinner, having a dinner, and, or a family occasion. It has to do with a family occasion or a celebration that caused all this, a get together maybe. You tell me in the comments because I have no idea. One of hopes and fears, the swords energy could be that you're fearing just queen of swords. We got a lot of people here. I'm gonna go ahead and find out what the three of cups is. Try to get my thoughts together on all these people. Why is the three of cups there? Why is the three of cups the outside environment or friends and family? Why is the three of cups there? Ah, that's the Ten of Pentacles. It's in reverse. So it may be that everybody is, like you, like I said, it's like a celebration. It's like going out. The Ten of Pentacles, so there's not a lot of finances there to do too much celebration. So people are wanting to celebrate. They're just not really independent right now. Your hopes and fears is this Queen of Swords. I don't know what that's about. You're going to tell me that too. Let's find out why you're fearing the Queen of Swords. Why are you fearing the Queen of Swords? Man, Pisces is busy. Oh, I don't know what to think. Queen of Swords, why are you there? That's the hopes and fears. No collaboration. You fear that there'll be no collaboration with this air energy. And the, as you know, the air energy, I've said this a hundred times, it's, 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 it's a Gemini, Libra, uh, Aquarius. So you may be fearing or, you know, that there will be no collaboration, they won't get a, you won't get along with this person. Could be has a lot to do with this Knight of Swords. It's in reverse, and maybe you're hoping this person will be in the upright, or come or become in the upright eventually. The outcome. Two of Cups in reverse. Two of Cups. Why are you in reverse, for Pisces? What is going on here? Why are you in reverse? You know, you're trying to get out of your head about this uh, Two of Cups situation that didn't happen or failed. has to do, could have to do with this foundation right now. Something didn't work out. Your goal was, like I said, this Knight of uh, Pentacles. And it's going to be keep, that's going to keep going in the first couple of weeks of May. So we're going to have to find out what's going to go on afterwards. In the middle of May, I'll give another reading. What exactly happens with this Knight of Pentacles? Because this is ongoing. It's like... Yuck, what did April deal to Pisces? You're supposed to be getting a wish. I hope you would use that wish card before. And there's that King of Swords. You got people all over the place. You are just busy, Pisces. There's someone's got lust for you. I'm thinking it's a wands person. So if you're not wanting that, you better let them know. Um, but that's your reading. Uh, first two weeks in May, I'll give another reading. I see, like I said, you're going to be going after that uh, Knight of Pentacles type energy, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.